Good morning. My name is Marcus Conti, and I am an investigative reporter. I'm also the plaintiff in Pro Se Plaintiff in Conti v. DSNY 101058-2016. There's the number right there. Write it down. Okay. Um, so I want to, this is going to be a very formal address to the councilman of New York City. Uh, there is a board, that's how New York City works. I'm learning, just like everybody else is learning, New York City Council is a uh, board of elected officials in New York City, and they are responsible for all kinds of things, I found out. They, they have oversight on, all, they create committees, and they have oversight on all kinds of things. So I reached out to the, you know, I reach out to everybody, and I sent them um, an email, and I've been sending emails out for now two years. So this is actually a response uh, letter, and, uh, a response video to the to the email that I had sent. So, uh, Councilman, this is for you. But as I as I've said all along, I, I this is this is not about me. This is about there's many people watching this, and there's many people there's many. Um, people in the public that have been ripped off by DSNY. There's also many employees inside the Department of Sanitation Enforcement Division who are still under, uh, 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 they're, they're living in a hostile environment. There's, there's quite, a, quite a degree of intimidation inside DSNY to sh shut up or you're fired. Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. So I'm reaching out, I'm reaching out to you at this point, and I want to read, I'm going to put the letter up and then we're going to introduce all the councilmen and then I'm going to I'll make a I'll make a case for why you guys should get involved all right so the first one the first uh, one this is the letter that I sent out about 13 hours ago at uh, 5 o'clock 5 p.m. right so I sent out a letter and and uh, I have a huge email uh, list and I sent this to all the 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 you could see the a uh, the IG press office I sent to all the the congressmen, uh, a number of congressmen, senators, all the New York senators are on the list. All of the councilmen in New York City are on the list. Many law enforcement personnel, a ton of press and other elected officials are on this list. So this is the list I, I sent out. And about, just to preface, about two years ago I sent out to all the uh, community boards and city councilmen and uh, never received a response. But now we're moving along. So, um, I'm, you know, forgive and forget. So... This is the letter. It's regarding a letter I had sent out. Illegal sanitation ticket quota bleeds New York City residents dry. Elected officials remain silent. Ooh, I dissed them. All right, so this is addressed to New York, all New York senators, councilmen, law enforcement, blah, blah, blah. Someone in the halls of government has empowered DSNY, New York City Department of Sanitation, to steal an estimated $600 million from the city residents and businesses via an illegal ticket quota. For almost 30 years, no one has done anything about it. I'm a former sanitation enforcement agent, blew the whistle on this corruption. I was there. I am an eyewitness. DSMY, DSMY has defrauded the general public, placed city workers at risk, and uses people of color as human shields. The case now moves to the higher appellate court in New York, AD1, and requires your immediate attention, immediate attention. All records are publicly available in PDF form. So I send that out, right? And what happens, you know? So I get, you know, I get, wow, holy smokes. This next slide I'm going to put out is this is the response. This is great, right? We're moving along. Dear Mr. Conti, thank you for your recent email. Who's this from, by the way? This is from the council speaker. New York City Council, right, of 50 members or so, has a speaker. The most important person of all of them is the speaker. So this is from the speaker. Her name is Melissa Mark Vavarvato. Vivervato. Okay, so Mr. Conti, thank you for your recent email to Speaker Mark Vivervato and her council colleagues, informing them of the court case, of your court case, alleging decades of fraud and corruption, including an illegal ticket quota ploy within the city's Department of Sanitation. Our office is responsible for, for processing all mail and the speaker receive, that the speaker receives as head of the council. Copies of your email and attached court documents have been shared with the staff of the council's Sanitation and Solid Waste Management Committee, which has oversight of the city's Department of Sanitation. 
Thanks again for writing to the speaker. Pow! Wow, that's so wonderful. Look, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. They they distributed this thing. So I want to put up all of their uh, contact information. Right? This is the contact information. This is the city council. You can please go visit the um, the the uh, site itself. The committee on sanitation and solid waste management. There's the speaker's uh, name and contact, all their emails. Antonio Reynoso, Andy King, Miss Gibson, Kostin Tandananas, and Mr. Matteo. So let's meet all these folks. Uh, ready? Let's meet everybody and see who they are. Hey, let's give a hand. Let's give a hand. This is District 8, Melissa Mark Veverato. Thank you so much, Melissa. She is the speaker of the house. Speaker of the house. Whoa. Hey, let's say hello to Antonio Reynoso, Antonio Reynoso, District 34, Williamsburg. How you doing, Antonio? Okay, let's say hello to Andy King, Andy King, District 12, hey, oh, hey, Wakefield. Uh, all right, and this is the, the wonderful Vanessa L. Gibbons, uh, Vanessa Gibbons from District 16, Vanessa. Vanessa Gibbons, Costa Costantanes. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your names, but we see the picture. We got it. We know who you are. District 22, and then there is Steve Matillo. Hey, how you doing? Steve from Staten Island. Steve Matillo from District 50 in Staten Island. So this is this is our wonderful this is our wonderful board of uh, people, the council in the Department of Sanitation and. Uh, committee on sanitation. So, Councilman, this is uh, a very, um, although I'd like to make, you know, light of this situation, it's a very serious situation where the Department of Sanitation for many, many years has been, uh, you know, using a, a, creating a very hostile environment where people inside the Department of Sanitation as enforcement agents are forced to write, uh, you know, 10 tickets a day for a long time. It is an illegal quota. It's it's not a it's not a theory. It's not an accusation at this point. It's a fact. There's over 100. I have over 150 uh, videos down below in uh, my YouTube channel, and you could see we have direct evidence of uh, a ticket quota. You could look. Uh, you know, you could search through the the secret audio one through. I think we're up to about 15 now, and you could see actual audio of high placed uh, lieutenants in the organization describing modus operandi which is to write 10 tickets a day if you do it you're fine if you don't do it you'll have a problem All right, so direct threats we've seen um, audio of uh, of of uh, you know the use of punishment and there's a lot of this look I can't I'm not going to relitigate all the videos down below but uh, please do read the Please do read the 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 appeal and the brief, and that would be very helpful. I would also encourage you to write a letter, write a, a response letter, and address it. Uh, you could deliver it to me. You could deliver it directly to the court. I prefer you deliver it right to me, and and keep me in the correspondence. Also, to sanitation enforcement agents watching this, this is your chance. This is your chance. I've introduced you to the council members who are, who have oversight, who have jurisdiction over the Department of Sanitation. You now know who they are. You could reach out to them on your own and tell them your story. I know there's about a hundred of you inside that are terrified of retaliation, of are terrified of being, being um, singled out and and um, smeared, just like what happened to me. So, here's your chance to reach out to the councilman. Councilman, here's your chance to make a connection with the 80 or so in sanitation enforcement agents inside of the Department of Sanitation and, and, and create a bond and talk about it. If you don't, if you, if you don't want to believe me, believe them. Right? There's over a hundred witnesses to the, to this, uh, what we're calling a crime and cover-up at this point. Right? So, the case is scheduled at the uh, AD1 for February 2018. That's when uh, argument it, it's slated to be argue, argued in Febu February. The Department of Sanitation has until January 3 
Right, it's coming up a few weeks away. They'll have to respond to my appeal and brief. I don't have to explain it to you guys. You know what you're doing. Right, and and they're going to respond. And, you know, again, we've already been ignored from New York State Division of Human Rights has, has uh, completely ignored the, the, the allegation. Uh, you know, the trial trial attorney at uh, 60 Center, Center Street, same deal. Okay, so that's why we have to do this publicly. We have to make noise to, to stop to stop this scam okay so thank you very much for listening and I welcome your response I welcome your interaction you're free to call me you're free to email me you feel free to 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 uh, to interview me to question me to cross-examine me invite me to your council meetings on on this issue I will I am there for you is and I hope that you're there for me. Thank you very much for your time.